Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are on Gemara Erevin on Daf Nun Zion. Now, this Gemara is, uh, tells us basically how they would measure the Tchumen and what instrument they would use. And the Gemara, the Gemara actually, it's a Mishnah, says, You have to use a rope of 50 cubits, not less and not more. What does that mean and why? Because if the rope is too short, you'll be able to stretch it, and thereby stretching it, you'll make the trum longer than it actually is in your measurements. And if the rope is too long, the weight of it will cause it to hang, and you'll end up making the trum shorter than the measurements. So the rabbis used a standard instrument, a, a rope of 50 cubits, that they presumed was, so to speak, the sweet spot that there was uh, not too much give and not too much take. And then, on top of that, the uh, mission says, Lo yimdot elo keneged libo. So the person holding the rope, each person would have to hold the rope by their heart so that it would correspond, even though people were of different heights, in theory, but um, they're close enough that we're not going to have a disparity, and so the measurement will be accurate. Now, um, I uh, you don't have to wonder whether or not there are isn't a significance. As we've mentioned in the past, there there is a possibility of a lot of metaphoric and symbolic significance. Uh, Al P. Torah Sanister in Gemar Ervin, and I quoted sources about this as well. Um, the uh, source that uh, I quoted was Maishra Keach on Seder Moed on the Mishnah Ervin that talks about Karpif, and he goes into that there are many secrets alluded to. But in any case, Think about this idea. We're talking about reaching a a sweet spot. We're talking about not too much and not too little, not too tense and not too loose on the rope. And then the number 50. The number 50 is quite significant in Judaism. Um, there is what the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah tells us, on Dav Chofal from Habez, the Nun Shari Bina, the 50 gates of wisdom. There's the 50 days from Pesach to Shavuos, which is the preparatory days of getting the Torah. And then there's something else also interesting, right? Lo yimdod libo, only measure by the heart. And I'm just wondering uh, if I could indulge in a Hasidic style vart over here and say that when it comes to setting boundaries, and sometimes we do need to set boundaries and trim in our boundaries, when it comes to setting boundaries, maybe the Mishnah is allegorically saying, um, don't be too tight, don't be too loose. You use the 50 gates of wisdom, a rope of 50 amas, of 50 cubits, and only measure by the heart.